Well, new numbers showing just how much deeper we're digging into our wallets to pay for groceries. And while we're feeling the pinch everywhere, a new survey says New Jersey has some of the highest grocery prices in our country. So is this our new normal at the checkout? Fox Eyes Teresa Priolo takes a look. It isn't unusual to see a half empty shopping cart outside the supermarket these days. This here was nothing with $40. But the contents of that card cost a pretty penny. $80 was like four things. Yeah. Yeah, it's too expensive. Inflation has hit every aspect of American life. And while some sectors have begun to normalize, it seems groceries or food at home, as it's known by the Consumer Price Index, has not. Prices are up 2.6% in the last 12 months that ended in January. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, as recently as August 2022, the rate of inflation for food was at 11.4%, the highest since May 1979. It's extremely difficult to keep in the budget now. I mean, it's, it's never enough. And to the surprise of no one in New Jersey, the Garden State has some of the highest grocery prices in the country, up 6.8% over the last 15 months. Taxes, real estate costs, wages, and utilities are to blame. It's like you wonder where we're going to go. And so something's got to give. Shoppers tell us they're price shopping, planning multiple grocery runs to get the best price on staples like meat, eggs, bread, milk, and deli. For other things, they're trying to spread out their costs in the hopes of shopping more efficiently. Just for like a week's worth or just a grocery is $200 easily and it's like not even, that's not even two weeks of groceries. Yeah. Everything is going up except the salaries. The salaries stay the same. Right. It's unreal. When we talk about prices being up, according to the U.S. government, prices are up 25% since 2019. Supply chain issues and labor shortages are to blame. The question that nobody seems to have the answer to What's it going to take to bring those prices back down? In Clifton, New Jersey, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.